Ukrainian troops say the battle for the town of Bakhmut in Ukraine's Donetsk region is ongoing despite Russia's claim that they now control the town. The battle for the town of Bakhmut in Ukraine's eastern Donbas region has been the longest and bloodiest of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The assault on a largely leveled city was led by troops from Wagner's mercenary group, whose leader Yevgeny Prigozhin said earlier in the day that his forces had finally pushed the Ukrainians out of the last built-up area in the city. A spokesperson for the Ukrainian army said on May 22 that Russian troops were marching directly into the trap in Bakhmut, with Ukrainian troops advancing on the town's flank ready to encircle them. The comments came a day after Russia claimed it had arrested Bakhmut, a claim it has made repeatedly in recent weeks. A video footage shows fighters from the Special Operations Center A of the Ukrainian Security Service destroying a tank, several armored fighting vehicles, and more than half a dozen different Russian invader trucks with the help of a kamikaze FPV drone. The press service of the Security Service of Ukraine announced this on its own page on the social network Facebook, publishing a corresponding video edited from footage shot by a barrage of ammunition and controlling the drone itself. Despite their low cost and small size, FPV drones are capable of carrying a sizable amount of explosives or an anti-tank grenade launcher payload. The trucks, where almost all the logistics of the front zone were stored, were completely powerless against them. The Telegram channel Operative Zizesdu also showed another video on the destruction of enemy infantry fighting vehicles in Zaporozhye. The video was recorded by an unmanned aerial vehicle, whose operators found a target near a house in one of the captured villages and presumably set fire on it. However, we can only see how the BMP burns and then explodes violently. Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin said his fighters had begun their withdrawal from Bakhmut as they handed over the eastern city to the Russian military after capturing it in months of fighting. Ukrainian officials insisted this week that pockets of resistance remained in the city. The leader of the private Russian Wagner mercenary group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, said Moscow's plan to demilitarize Ukraine with a full-scale invasion had failed, instead turning its neighbor's army into one of the most powerful in the world and setting Russia up for a possible uprising. In an interview with pro-Kremlin political analyst Konstantin Dolgov, whose full version was published on May 24, Prigozhin, a close ally of President Vladimir Putin, recalled that when Moscow launched its invasion of Ukraine in February last year, the Kremlin called it a special military operation to demilitarize and denazification of Ukraine. Some 15 months later, the West is neither tired of war nor backing away from its support of Ukraine, which is not only putting up staunch resistance, but is now preparing for a counteroffensive, the Wagner chief said. In recent months, as his personal mercenary group bore the brunt of the fierce fighting in and around Bakhmut, Prigozhin had become the center of attention. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian Defense Forces destroyed 36 Iranian Mage Shud-136 131st attack drones launched by the enemy, as reported by Ukrinform on Telegram. On the night of May 25, 2023, the enemy attacked Ukraine with an Iranian Mage Shud-136 131st attack drone. A total of 36 rounds of ammunition were launched from the north and south. Allegedly, the enemy aims to attack critical infrastructure and military facilities in the western region of the state, the message said. As reported by Ukrinform, over the past few days, the Air Force and Defense Forces have carried out seven raids on areas where enemy military personnel and equipment are concentrated. On the other hand, even the Ukrainian military showed how they shot down a kamikaze drone over Kyiv on the night of May 25. 
The video was published by the Joint Forces Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The fighters worked on the German Chipart anti-aircraft machine. Two or three short bursts into the night sky and the enemy drone is hit. The explosion of Sheikh was greeted with glee behind the scenes by the Ukrainian defenders. According to General Nave, all 36 enemy drones were shot down this evening. Our aviation, anti-aircraft missile units and our special mobile groups are working on this task. He called Ukraine's air defense the best in the world. The General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces reported on May 25 that Russia had lost 205,260 soldiers in Ukraine since the start of its full-scale invasion on February 24 last year. This number includes the 500 casualties that the Russian forces have suffered over the past few days. Russia has lost more than 20% of its private mercenary fighters in the battle for the besieged city of Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine, the head of the Wagner Group has acknowledged. Yevgeny Prigozhin, in his latest tirade against Kremlin commanders, says his army has lost 20,000 of its 50,000 fighters, half of them murderers and rapists convicted of breaking out of Russian prisons to fight in Ukraine, while trying to outflank troops holding out in the region. Bakhmut is located in Donetsk province, one of four illegally annexed by Russia last fall and only partially controlled. Its strategic value is questionable, and many analysts claim that a Russian victory in the city would be Perik. While Wagner and Russian troops had lost tens of thousands of lives in the wave of attacks, as well as hundreds of thousands of rounds of ammunition and artillery, trying to take Bakhmut, Ukrainian troops had fortified the nearby towns of Kramatorsk and Sloviansk making any follow-up offensive extremely difficult. And despite Wagner's claims they have captured the town, Putin himself congratulated them on their success. The Ukrainian general staff said on Wednesday that great fighting was continuing inside Bakhmut. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Wednesday that Kyiv plans to strengthen its Marine Brigade a new Marine Brigade will be added to our existing units, and we will provide them with modern weapons and equipment," he said in his late-night video address. Ukraine's main task is to strengthen our defenses, to increase the capabilities of our servicemen and our country as a whole, he said. Zelensky's comments after visiting frontline positions near the towns of Volodor and Mariinka in the Donetsk region. He presented awards to dozens of soldiers on National Day of Ukrainian Marines.